Hey everyone, it's Mike from IO Pipe here. Uh, today I'm starting the first in a series of uh, three minute pro tip videos. These are designed to clear up some confusion, show how I personally use IO Pipe, um, and answer some outstanding questions from our community. Most of this information is in our other videos, but those are much longer, so I wanted to give a concise topic in each three minute video. So today let's talk projects. So projects in IO Pipe are a way to logically separate functions in the IO Pipe dashboard. Uh, in IO Pipe's production case, we group these into five projects that you can see here. Uh, IO Pipe being the main application and our alert pipeline being the other one that I'm really concerned about. Um, with that, functions that are not in the same project will not share alert settings, nor will they be easily compared. In the case of IO Pipe, if you take a look at the alert pipeline and the IO Pipe project, we can't share alerts nor can I compare my alert functions with my Kinesis functions for any reason um, or see them on the same page if I wanted to. So if you have a small, medium team, uh, it's best to have all your functions in a single project. Uh, then inside each project, you can have multiple AWS accounts, multiple AWS re regions, um, you know, reporting back to the same view, then you use our controls on how to filter the data uh, being shown. This makes comparing your application metrics in all regions extremely easy. In my case, you can see all of the seven regions that I'm running in, the functions that are in them, and the performance between them using the graphs right here. If you have applications that are very different from one another, I would suggest grouping them into their own project. Uh, and if, if the application shares some of the same functions, I'd definitely group them under the same project. Then use the filtering to show the data that you want. In this example, if you wanted to see Kinesis, you would just type Kinesis in the filter here. Um, and now you see all the specific functions that relate to my Kinesis readers, and you can do comparisons on them across all of your regions. This makes it super simple to do a very quick comparison to see potential problems. Maybe there's some debugging going on. Maybe you got an alert that came in. Um, so you're looking in your project and you just want to make sure that the functions are performing correctly. A lot of other stuff. So, um, you know, this is real simple stuff. This is just how I use projects and kind of the best practice. Um, you know, we have other customers who do it slightly different in the large customer case. You might have a different project per Scrum team or per AWS account. Um, that's up to them on that scale, but this is just kind of the preferred way um, to use the projects. And one last thing to, to kind of go over, um, everyone who's on the team can access every project under that team. So for fine-grained access controls, you might want to consider using multiple teams. That's just a little bit of a pro tip. So I hope that helps clear up some of the confusion around projects and how to use IOPipe in a better, more efficient way. Um, as I said, this is the first of my pro tip video series, so keep an eye out shortly for more of them. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or visit our IOPipe community Slack channel where you can interact with myself and our engineers. Um, thanks, and I hope everyone has a great day.